Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video. In this video, I have an Xbox One X series. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up and how to replace your mechanical drive with a solid state drive or an SSD drive. And the reason that you should change it to an SSD drive, it's a response time. When you power it on, it will be really faster to load up your dashboard. And when you load up games, the game loading times is going to be super fast. And I'll leave the link in the description for, to a few solid state drives that we have tested and works fine. You can put an up to one terabyte or two terabyte solid state drive. It all depends up to you. And once you put the new solid state drive, when you turn it on, it's not going to actually go to the dashboard because there's going to be no operating system in here. I'll leave the link in the description on a website, to a Xbox website, where they show you how to load up your new system fresh off the USB stick. They give you the link, the steps, by step by step on how to load up new dashboard if you replace your hard drive. And this is what we're going to do today. All right. First thing first, you're going to need an opening tool. I'm going to be using the iFixit tool set which are a really great tool set that they have. Uh, we're gonna be using a torque number 10, which is this one over here. And we are gonna remove two screws at the back of the console. One on this corner, one on the other corner. The one on this corner, or if I'm not, actually the one on this corner where the label is, right underneath, it should have a little tiny paper right there and this is the warranty label it might be on top so you will not be able to see it you have to lift up rip this paper apart once you remove and start unscrewing the screws they're really tough screws so remove them they're all the same size and now the proper way of the removing the top cover, unlike the other videos that I seen, including the iFixit videos that they have like over 200, 300 views, they showing you to grab the top cover and slide it towards yourself, and then just they yanking it towards yourself. That's not the way you're supposed to you know, remove. The way you're supposed to remove to grab, once you pull it towards yourself a little bit, it's going to have a little opening right there. Once you get this little opening, you want to put your hand underneath where the power button is, this, this side. Let me show you guys. You want to put your fingers right in here between the top and the bottom cover. And you want to lift it up. And then you want to just wiggle it around. And lift it up all the way towards the other side and you need to do a little bit of wiggling around no forcing just wiggle it and find the right position and you can get unhook this whole thing this is the way it's supposed to be removed not like a drawer pulling it towards yourself but if you try you're going to damage the plastic or the wi-fi board over here all right now we got that out of the way down here to, we're going to remove a whole bunch of screws. The only screws that we're going to be removing right now is this uh, white flat head screws right here. These ones are, you see this one, how they are rounded, like a kind of round type corners. This one has a sharp flat corners. We're going to remove this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six six screws we're gonna remove so starting from this corner these are the long screws so remove this one over here the one beside it one in the middle one in the corner right here one all the way back here one right in the front middle once you remove the long screws we need to remove these two screws right here these are a little bit smaller torque so it's going to be torque number nine so grab your torque number nine and remove this one over here 
okay now you simply just gonna put your finger underneath and just lift it up next what you want to do you want to remove the front panel by removing three screws all right again there's a proper way of removing this flex cable right here unproper way is the one that i seen in the different videos i'll leave the sample of the video that they do that's not the way you're supposed to do it the proper way the proper way is to first disconnect there's a jack at the back so lift up from this right here and pull it upward evenly because there's a connector at the back you want to loose up this connector once you get it that thing loosened you don't want to yank on this cable right here okay what you want to do you want to grab yourself a tweezer and you want to unhook this lock right here at the back so you want to lift up this lock 90 degrees right there once you lift up 90 degrees that locks hold this cable in place so you want to prevent it from sliding out it pushes down on the pins so you should not yank this cable down if the lock is in a lock position which is all the way back if it's in this position it's locked otherwise you're going to damage the pins on the cable and on the contact right there all right once you got these two removed we're going to remove this you can see the hard drive right underneath here you see you can see the hard drive right there you need to remove these four screws right here all right once we remove the screws right there we also need to remove a few other stuff we need to remove the power supply which is on this other side we're gonna be removing these four screws that we removed we're gonna remove this screw right here the screw right in the corner and the one in the middle and the one at the back here all right so pretty much we removed half of the screws on this side i mean half of the, all the screws on this half next you want to flip it over face down make sure this contact stays on the side it doesn't stay on the bottom now lift up the top cover and bring it towards the front of the console there we have it now in here there's two screws one in this corner and one on the other side remove these two screws we're gonna lift up this side you're gonna lift up from the front upwards just pull it up when you pull it up you might in one of these supporters it might just fall down inside the console so we need to go and look for these plastic ones here these clips they're all the way in the back side all right so first thing first lift up this uh, optical drive upward unhook it from there and pull it forward the power unit lift up before we lift it up remove this sponge right here so peel it off lift up evenly bring it to the other side and look here is the thing that you fall off there's one piece you want to put this piece right there just snap it in place there's one more right there at the bottom let me see if i can grab it with the tweezers it's right over here there you go yeah we need to put this one right on the top casing too so grab it right here and just squeeze it in place now you don't need to remove the optical drive just flip it over to the other side and your hard drive is right underneath disconnect the power cable and disconnect the SATA cable just by pulling it up and there's your caddy that holds up the hard drive this is one terabyte Seagate drive to remove the hard drive from here you need to put it upside down remove the four screws not these big ones the small one one two three four remove the four screws at the back all right now 
we gotta remove this caddy right here just by pull this adapter out evenly so that's your adapter and that's your hard drive and what you need to do grab a new hard drive if you want to change it with a mechanical drive or grab yourself a ssd drive and they both have the same contact make sure the contact are facing they are the same position so you want to grab it the ssd drive and you want to put the adapter right in there and put it right over here and put the four screws this is just for demonstration i'm not actually going to replace it for the client doesn't want to so in case if you want it imagine this is an ssd drive put it right there bring it over make sure these two hooks go right through put the four screws all right now what you want to do is grab put it and uh, sit it down on the case make sure it's nicely sitting all the way down put the contacts the power and the SATA connector grab your optical drive and pull it all the way back to the front you don't want to align it yet you want to grab your power supply bring it over make sure this contact right here goes right in here so bring it evenly down and press it down. Now you can grab your optical drive and hook it right on that plastic right there. Grab the foam, press it on top. Now we have all this in place. We found this part. If you cannot get this one out from there, I have a video I made how to disassemble the whole thing. But if you can try to pull this one out from there, if yours is stuck back there, you don't need to disassemble the whole thing all right grab the top cover here align it on top and bring it over and set it down right there you're gonna put two screws one here one right there all right now that we got the screws in here what you need to do grab the top cover with these cables here and you want to place the front end first so put the front end over there make sure it sits nicely in here and then the rest should be history all right let me flip it over so i can see it in front now you want to bring this contact over and press it down put the two screws first on these two next let's just put one of the longest screws in the middle back there so this holds the case together and one of the long ones all the way in front there we go now we're gonna grab the front board and this is how you're supposed to connect this one here you want to unlock it so lift up the cover 90 degrees grab the connector and pull it push it all the way in if there's a little bit of stuck it's okay okay you want to put it all the way in and then you want to just lock it and now just put the contacts at the back and then just squeeze it down and that's it now we're going to put the three screws on the front panel these are the golden colors okay now we're gonna do the fun part let's stick in all the longest screws it should be going all the way in if it doesn't go all the way in it's not the right place for it so make sure it goes all the way in and there and there okay now put the smaller screws this takes about 20 minutes if you can do it faster you can do it in 15 minutes so don't think about it. it's like a too much hassle it's not it's actually fun if you're doing it for your own console so all the screws are the same size mostly so you cannot make a mistake if you make a mistake it will not simply go in so 
There's nothing to be scared of. Oh, no more panicking. All right, now that we got the bottom one in, all the way in, we need to put the, oh, I mean, the bottom plastic. To put the bottom plastic, simply, you want to put the side where it says Xbox right here, like a drawer, no, like this, squeeze it right underneath the board, right there, so it sits like that. And then you want to bring it over to the other side. And that's it. And simply push it backward. Now it's locked in place. So simply I'm going to show you guys again. Pull it towards yourself. Lift up from this side. Wiggle it. Lift up and lift up this side. And then bring it over. And it should come out very simple. And very easy. Just move it around. There we go. Now to put it back again down let me see if I can give it show you guys in a different position in this position so what you want to do you want to stick this one right there once it's in this position bring it all the way in and here squeeze it down with an offset position and then push it backward and it's lock in place and the last thing will be putting the back the two screws at the back I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And if you have any questions, requests, you know where to leave them. And again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.